hello guys welcome back to our another video this is your breed guys this video we are going to customize fox's theme fox's theme is very nice and trending theme for people who want to create a news website or blog website so let me show you the demo for fox's theme first as you can see we have uh, some demo content for fox's theme we have a news and magazine music magazine resume personal blog tv and movies news photography and studio a lot more nice template demo content so let me click uh, on first one fox's theme so we will able to check the demo how our news website will look like or blog website will look like later on once so we start to uh, upload and customize our theme you can see the overview is pretty nice and uh, we have a nice header bar we have a logo and we have a main content uh, main uh, wizard uh, for home page and we have a different category section here we have a, a space for uh, adsense uh, ads we can upload our ad we can enable our ad here editor pick we have a weather section in the sidebar follow us pretty nice buttons here and you can see when we scroll down you can even display your videos here a lot more options we have and uh, let me scroll down for when you scroll down you have a latest uh, news section again we have a sidebar with the uh, for the ads you want to display adsense ad and again we have this nice where you can display your video this is a right section for the video section if you if you have a blog video blog then i will definitely recommend this thing so that's why i bring this video a lot of people uh, request me to make video for fox's theme uh, complete customization video so here uh, we are going to start this video with customizing fox's theme first of all as uh, you know uh, as you know already we always start the video directly uh, without wasting any time from the dashboard our uh, wordpress dashboard so you have to go to appearance and theme section for the fox's theme you can uh, purchase fox's theme link in description okay so now I have already the theme file i will go to appearance and themes and uh, we need to upload our theme file here in the themes i will click on add new theme here upload theme let me upload my theme file here okay this is my theme file let me install now uh, when we are installing our theme file i always recommend guys do not refresh your wordpress page this will this may cause break your theme or not properly install on your wordpress server so we have successfully installed our theme now i will click on activate so once we click on activate uh, the next step we have installing required plugin so i will require all of these plugins and you can skip some of the plugins here because uh, we only need required plugin which uh, which we uh, which we need in order to run our foxes theme foxes core elementor which is very important other plugin if you want to install you can install or you can skip this uh, main important required theme here uh, required plugin here elementor and foxes core and uh, uh, post view counter let's click on install and wait for uh, in, uh, co to complete this installing process and uh, later on we will activate all these plugins right away so we will start uh, installing our demo content uh, for our news or blog website okay so we have successfully installed i have to click here return to required plugin installer and here I have to click uh, again the plugins we just installed and this time we have to activate all those click choose activate here click apply so this will 
activate all our required plugins uh, you can skip this later on if you need you can uh, also install these plugins okay so let me click on home page refresh and click on home page as you can see here we have uh, successfully activate our box system uh, php information uh, there uh, the theme uh, required php version minimum 7.4 memory limit 256 input wars 3000 which we already have that so that's why it's green in in case uh, if you are memory limit less than 256 you will see in the red and then you have to increase your memory limit you can watch my other video how to increase memory limit that's pretty easy okay so let's go ahead and uh, you will see fox's admin section in the left sidebar uh, fox's admin and uh, you have to click on demo importer section let me click on that let me scroll down so we have here all the demo content first of all you have to look at what type of website you want to build you want to build a website news website or blog website then you have to choose your uh, demo structure demo content accordingly one more thing i really like here you can see here downside choose to import uh, you you manually can choose if you don't want to import uh, the post the demo post um, if you already have post on your uh, on your blog or no, on your news website then you don't need to import all demo data but if you if you first time you can import all demo data later on you can remove uh, all copyright images or post because you have to uh, upload you have to you have to write on your own post in order to uh, run successfully our business or news website right so all demo data that mean uh, that's only for uh, this will copy the structure complete structure on your website so you don't need to uh, need to fix every section step by step like a content you have you don't need to create pages visits it will do for you it will create every section for you the important thing is once we already import demo data later on just to make some editing to make it uh, more nice okay so here we have a uh, we have a default foxes demo content here and uh, you can see here they are asking you to uh, install this plugin which really required what we will do we will right click here on install section in yellow color but first of all you have to choose your demo what type of website like fashion and we have a technology and scroll down to beauty business uh, food website food blog and uh, we have a subscription like uh, if you are selling digital product you can choose this subscription uh, business you have a standard news for news website pc hardware and a phone like if your blog is about technology pc hardware related computer then you can choose this one if you have crypto currency news or blog choose this one coin crypto concept a lot of options you have in foxes okay the thing is you have to choose first what type of theme you want to uh, what type of demo you want to import then you have to first click on all yellow you have to copy complete all your recommended plugin you have to install so let me scroll up to the default one number first and let me click here install it start installing number two plugin and the contact form numbers uh, let me uh, also activate it along with okay and number three plugin start installing you can see my screen activate right away and uh, then we have a twitter feed for developer okay install it okay once we already uh, install and activate all these required plugin in this section in the box here you will see here import demo data will become visible okay 
it will clickable right now it's not clickable when we click scroll our mouse here import demo it will not work until we complete or our required sections okay so let's wait for activate all these uh, required plugin then uh, we will import our demo data when we click on import all demo data you can manually select uh, content uh, theme option only pages uh, if, but if you are a first time or beginner then select uh, uh, import all demo data later on I will teach you how to add it one by one step by step uh, and how to start creating your own blog or on news okay so let me select on import all demo and uh, let me click on import demo okay it will ask you confirmation click ok okay now we are waiting and our demo being installed on our wordpress it may take them some time you can see here green line is started you can see my mouse it will complete it uh, once we already complete uh, uh, complete importing all all required uh, structure visits pages content theme options okay so you have to wait please do not refresh your page while even importing your demo content you have to wait till we finish this process and then step by step i will teach you how to customize the front page how to make it more professional okay so stay with my video this video is complete tutorial about fox's theme so if you want to if you want me to create another video on a specific theme you can mention the theme name in comments i will definitely make a next video on such theme if you want to learn more about or any course regarding customization or wordpress as uh, soon we are uh, we are bringing uh, the wordpress course and you will able to see that link soon in my in my youtube channel okay so we have successfully installed our demo content you can see here import complete let me check my website here okay okay perfect we have successfully import our demo content okay let me check all everything yeah everything is there okay this is newsletter we can skip for now okay perfect now next thing what we will do here i go back to my dashboard okay let me refresh my wordpress dashboard here. we have successfully import our demo okay next thing is here we will go to fox's admin again and i will go to theme option okay theme option let me go to theme options okay when you click theme options uh, you will have a different section different option to to upload logo setting up your header sidebar footer every section you will have okay let me click on logo first we will start from logo section okay you have a two options you can customize it directly from here Fox's panel for that you have to click on theme options okay or you can go to Fox's admin theme options okay you can go anywhere same page will be open okay so let me click on logo I will scroll down to main logo this is uh, our main logo Fox's let me upload my own logo here I have already logo if you not have logo you can make one with the canva that's pretty easy to make logo okay i have already uploaded my logo in the dark mode uh, you have to upload here the white letter logo in the dark mode so your uh, logo will be seen in white color but uh, it should be transparent and uh, the font color should be white here instead of main logo we have black color okay in the dark mode main logo the font color should be white the icon it can be any color that's okay uh, but the font color should be white because uh, we, we will use in dark mode that logo okay 
once you already upload your logo click save changes okay perfect now let me refresh my website if our logo is uh, there oh yeah you can see here our logo is there and looks very nice you can choose uh, uh, the logo uh, that can be 160 by 70 160 by 90 something like that pixels yeah you can choose this size that's this will be per very perfect and small we don't need uh, the bigger logo like 500 by 500 pixel okay because we need a small one you can choose different size like weight should be minimum 150 and height uh, 50 70 that's okay 50 70 i would recommend okay let's go to next section mobile logos same options you have to again provide your uh, same logo select your logo and uh, click submit okay you have to wait depends on your internet connection if your internet connection is good the process is pretty fast okay let me select again click here save changes again okay now let's go to and next we have transparent logo as i explained you transparent make your file transparent in canva you have to choose transparent logo okay okay let's go to header section in the header section header style the style number one we have uh, in the style number one we have a left menu the menu is left side here but if you choose in the style number two the menu will be here in the right side section okay you have to choose the style let me choose style number two just to show you example let me save changes and you will see my uh, menu will be here in the right side okay let me click refresh and it, you see it's the right side my menu just to choose your menu uh, header template short code you don't need to make any changes here sticky menu if you want sticky menu uh, you can off or enable or disable sticky menu when you scroll down your website your will be your menu will be stick here in the header you don't they don't need to scroll up to choose the header sections okay next we have a four header one two three okay social icon if you want to enable social icon you can enable and social icon will be start showing in the upper section okay for header four for header five that's different uh, if you choose style number four header four header five different things here but common is general okay in the general section okay and this option for the style I will show you later on when we customizing front page section the main section with elementor i will show you that time uh, we are proceeding with the main uh, important options here okay okay for header 4 or header 5 that's for the if you choose header 1 that will be something look like this if you choose header 2 then you have to add it header 2 header 3 or header 4 option different if you choose header one or two or three then this option you have to make changes here okay so let me go to mobile header section let me uh, first complete this for header one two three if you choose header number one header number two then you have to make changes here more uh, menu button you can enable this more menu like more options okay more menu like there this one this is more menu okay if you want to add something more yeah just add you can add more pages in the more section okay and the social icons is enable social icon here we have a social icon let me find where it is social icon not showing because maybe let me uh, first to find out which header we have we have a header number one how to find out that one you have to click customize this option customize or you have to go to appearance and customize both same option let me click customize let 
let me click on customizing okay you have to wait till we find out which header we are using right now so for that we have to go to header section here you can also add it uh, customize uh, the front page from the customization section for the header panel here uh, for the foxes panel is overall you can also make changes here i will show you later on so let's proceed with here to find out which header we are using for that let me click on header under the logo header okay here we will find out which header we are using right now so we will customize uh, according that we will click on header 4 or header 5 first out we have to find out here okay let me click on header sorry for my internet connection okay perfect here the options are pretty similar uh, for foxes panel and customizing you can customize uh, for customizing if you click on appearance customize section uh, you will able to live edit but in the foxes theme you have to make one by one but you will not able to see right way okay let me click on for header one two or three okay let me find out my header first what header i'm using right now in general section header style is style 2 means we are using header 2 right let me go to header 1 2 3 this is op this option okay let me enable the social icon we will able to see here if we got our social icon here okay okay let me click publish and let me okay open by okay let me sh let me find out let me refresh here and let me find out if we got our social media buttons okay yeah we got our social media buttons here facebook twitter and youtube here okay let me go ahead with it okay with style you don't need to change anything navigation style navigation is shadow you will see sh some shadow here in the in the in the navigation header navigation okay header height is 60 you can make it 30 in pixels you can make it 40 you can make changes here mega menu uh, text color dark text this one mega menu when we uh, scroll to the menu that's mega menu call and you can see the top news this all in black color okay you can make changes here let me click light text that will be show little light okay you can make changes here for your header section okay let me scroll down text color you can choose uh, you don't need to choose here anything everything looks perfect comes with the uh, comes with the demo that's already they have already selected everything but if you still want to change any text color you can do it uh, for header one to three section here okay uh, we have already done this uh, one to three header section we have uh, uh, we have only text for text color some options okay you can uh, uh, enable more button disable social media icons we have here you can make enable or disable here otherwise we have some color sections color schemes to choose okay let's go to mobile header okay in the mobile header let me open my mobile 
website. In the mobile, you have to click here, downside. Okay. Okay. We have a left logo. The logo is in left. Okay. That's the 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 uh, the width for the mobile is very limited here. So even you keep your logo in right side or center. I will recommend center. Make it center. That will look nice. Okay. Make your logo in center. Like that. Disable a search icon. This one. If you want to disable it, disable it here. Okay. So you have a more breadth here. More, more. Your, your, uh, your logo will be in center. Looks more nice. Okay. AMP header. I will definitely recommend AMP header. That will really help you in speed up for the mobile phones. Sub menu column sub menu column this one this is the sub menu okay you can choose column one column two if you choose only column one in sub menu let me show you again okay let me click here now okay you have sub menu section click publish every time you make changes please uh, do not forget to publish okay now scroll down this is for uh, this customization actually for the mobile units okay now let's go to downside footer menu uh, here in the footer menu you can choose footer menu number one department menu blog menu or even you can uh, choose uh, a footer copyright already selected there right this one this one this is already selected okay now but we have to make changes of uh, footer copyright you have to provide your website name here okay and uh, uh, all rights are reserved you have to provide you know, your website name you can make changes here in the footer section okay copyright section text color is uh, please do not make changes but if you want to make it little dark let me make it totally dark complete dark so uh, the text color will be uh, should be visible easily in the header section in the footer section so let me this one here let me publish it this uh, text color for toggle button actually toggle button okay let me here let me explain what toggle button this one okay let me scroll down text color uh, section you can choose if you want but uh, that's uh, not recommendable just keep uh, the color as comes with the demo content that's look more pro professional and nice okay that's why i recommend more menu item click on it let me bring back my website to desktop okay now let me scroll up so we will find out the more this one you can see three dot this is the more button okay okay <clears throat> header search header search this one we have header search here this one well in the more section we have header search right okay if you want to make disable it header search icon simply click off okay once you click off you will see it will be disabled from the header let me enable the disable uh, search icon in the header okay disable it okay toggle mode toggle mode more me know this one it's a toggle mode call 
live search result live search result for example if i click on this search button and i will start typing like uh, uh, news today news if even i type three letter t o d a y today it will live uh, live pull out your post related to that word that called live search you can enable or disable it here okay so we have uh, this more menu option search form actually this one okay you can see my mouse this one is this one actually i want to disable it it's it's look uh, uh, boring i want to disable it just to disable it and you will see your website later on will look more nice okay let me click publish and let like uh, let me expand my website and you will see it looks nice okay in more button we still uh, seeing it but when you refresh it will be gone from here okay okay we have nothing more header search okay let's sign in button in sign in button this one you can see hi admin this is the actually sign in button here if i open my website into new tab let me open to new tab you will see sign in button option in our website let me uh, let me go to my website into private tab yeah this one okay we have sign in button here this is the option we are going to customize now so if your website has sign in option then i will recommend keep it enable okay or you can disable it it's depend on your tax button okay you want to tax with icon button or you want to text button text button means in the button we have a sign in this is the text okay i will recommend choose as it is text button is looks good okay user dashboard menu logged menu logged menu yeah we have to select do not change anything mobile header sign in if you want to keep enable sign in option in the header keep it on or disable it in for the mobile units okay sign in label we don't need to edit anything here okay it's already there have an existing account okay this will really ask the customer according if if they already have an account they will see this text have already existing line uh, existing account it's a sign in label okay you can uh, write your input a custom sign in label okay. you can enter anything uh, any label here for sign in users okay let me go back next option notifications notification section this section you can see bell icon in the header section okay the bell icon here this is called notification section you want to disable or enable simply make it off okay max duration 72 hours they will see uh, uh, within 74 if uh, 72 hours if your website has new post they will see notifications here anything anything updated within 74 hours you can uh, bring it to 48 or 24 hours okay do not change anything here yeah dark color is looks good everything is good here in notification let's go to alert bar alert bar actually this one let me explain this one this is alert bar okay let me click off and we will live see any changes here
okay now home page only show only the bar in home page keep it enable okay but i will not recommend this alert bar you cannot enable this alert bar if your website has important uh, uh, you want your you want to you want to tell your audience something important your website has issue or anything alert that's for the alerts the alert url so where you can display information about that particular alert right let me go back mini cart mini cart is if your website uh, uh, selling any product for that you need header mini cart mini cart icon let me show you mini cart icon here if we have okay let me expand this one let me find mini cart there is no mini cart because we not yet install woocommerce that's why we are not seeing it okay but if you want to sell anything any product on your website you have to install a woocommerce first and do and, and you will start seeing the cart icon here somewhere here. okay so we skip this okay we have complete header section let's go to sidebar section okay in the sidebar this one in the sidebar section we have a position for the sidebar right you can choose left then weather will be start showing in the left side follow us will be in the left side that's is that is sidebar all this is sidebar we have a ad we have a sponsored a sponsored content this is called sidebar the content in the sidebar we have okay sticky sidebar yeah enable it this one is called sticky sidebar even we scroll our post this will be stick here stick there okay that's called sticky sidebar uh, visit blog editor yeah keep it enable okay let's go to next footer section okay let me bring a uh, scroll down to the footer section okay in the footer section show border show a gray border on the top of header here somewhere here when we when you enable it you will see headers uh, will look nice so people will see this is the header section in the downside this one little gray okay click publish it color scheme is dark text yeah i will not change it layout is uh, four column one two three four uh, between we have two column but we are not seeing because we did not yet uh, update it here okay let me show you when you scroll down footer logo this one you have to change it you have to upload your own logo here in the photo section okay when you upload your own logo you will start seeing your own logo here in the photo section let me publish it sometimes you will not see changes because we uh, you have to refresh your website okay okay i refresh my website and you see you have logo here okay already okay let's go to dark mode footer logo again you have to upload here white color font logo here social media icons here follow us icons in the footer you can keep enable it or disable it in the copyright text again you have to provide your website name here for the copyright here it is copyright menu copyright menu uh, you have to publish some important pages here okay let me try to footer menu one let me try to select footer menu one here in footer menu one later on we will uh, display term and condition privacy policy pages all pages okay okay copyright menu assign a menu for copyright menu section 
let me publish it let me refresh it okay refresh my website so we will see the changes along with that I think that's actually for copyright section copyright me know okay let me refresh okay now let me scroll down to understand what changes we have after that so we will understand the copyright me know. okay I understand now copyright me know here we have a lot of home pages uh, actually this is for the pages important pages like privacy policy page term condition that's everything here we will edit it later on so we will upload here only privacy policy some important pages here. that's for okay if you already make a logo you have to select your own logo here okay mobile click and yeah page menu yeah you can select this one if you have already uh, pages menu created select that one that's okay okay now let me okay go back next is theme design okay let me bring to home page okay theme design entire category that's for the category we have like a technology technology category okay you can see every category we have a red color okay shadow with shadow we have red colored categories okay uh, technology and categorize we have a weather everything that's for the category entire category for to change the color for that category right highlight color means this all is called highlighted you can change color okay let me go back entry matter entry matter actually uh, when your website uh, okay here let me explain you entry data you can see this post and you will see admin name here okay by author label if I let me click on enable it here if I enable and you will see this post right by the name of the author okay let me publish it let me now show you changes let me click on any post here and you will see this post right by the name of the who write this post let me scroll down yes here the post written by okay publish date icon let me enable it publish date icon uh, that will show your post this one the date okay when your uh, this date actually is updated date but you will see they will see the date when you publish this post okay updated date icon you can check all this section for this is for the post entire matter okay let me go back custom meta if you want to show something custom meta like you want to show something uh, uh, like uh, for example here we have a admin written by admin or author name we have a date label okay that's for the actually a label you want to make something label you want to name it what label is that like uh, let me open any post here we have a label this is the label three minute read 
Okay, this is for the time, time label call. This is share, share label. This is the label, if you want custom label. Okay, you can skip this one. Featured image, okay, from the top. The featured image we have in the top here, from the top. And uh, when you swipe up, you will see all image in the post, what image we have in the post, okay. Added post link. People will able to add it, this post link. Okay, this is the copy link. They will able to add it the they will see more more option. They will able to add it the share link. Okay, all options looks good. Let's go to slider animation. Slider animation, like if you want like post slider on your site. Post slider like this one this is post the slider you can see it look very nice when we scroll our mouse it swipe actually okay when we back click our mouse anywhere this will not okay when you again one one time click your mouse you can swipe it easily this is that's for but um, if you want to auto play it like it will auto play without clicking it you can enable it here slider uh, animation Okay, you can even cust uh, customize the, the speed, how fast it should be swipe. Okay. Okay, next option, post format icon. Uh, looks good. We don't need any changes here. Actually, I'm teaching you the main important changes we need in our website. Read more button let me scroll down let me show you read more button okay let me scroll down read more button actually uh, you will see somewhere here that's for the post if they want to see more post complete post they will have to click on read more button before customize the read more button in your site read more icon is enabled read more icon is view all or read more let me scroll down so i will able to find that one Here, show more this is very similar read more show more okay let me go back hover effect round corner okay these actually um, options they have already select the best okay when we import our demo content then they have already already choose all the options for us that's why our website is look very professional right we don't want any if we do any changes then that will not maybe that will not uh, looks good but you can look all these options okay back to top button this one when we scroll down this one this is back to top button okay tool tip input style container width and the actually the width we already fit our desktop we don't need any changes here in the theme design section site identity you have to provide your site title site name if you have tagline tagline name if you not have logo then okay next is standard blog design how our blog should look like okay let's go to classic option okay <clears throat> Uh, these are setting for classic layout they are overriding blog design this is the uh, block design block design overall this is the block this is the second block this is the third block this is uh, this is actually divided by blocks right yeah 
Yeah. Okay, let me explain it. Let me open any post here. Actually, this is the post. You can open any post. In the post, we have a entry category. You can select the background. Okay, background is big, like background for this one. The background. Here in the post, we have a big background okay you can choose it and when you scroll down you will see entry meta tags entry meta tags are first entry meta tag avatar author date where it is here it is okay author this is the author admin if you have uh, uh, you can change this to your name here okay then we have author yeah avatar avatar is this one you will they will see this avatar image here then next is this is the author okay then publish date publish date third we have published date this section in the post okay but if you want to delete anything just click on cut if you don't want to show avatar image in every post cancel it publish it they will not see image of the author okay review meta enable it yeah we want to enable review meta review meta description actually this is for the review this one when they will go to front page of our website this is the actually review they see some lines for the post and they will understand what is the post of that's called meta description this one okay this one sponsored meta let me click on sponsored meta when we scroll down they will see the section here sponsored let me scroll up to the sponsored let me go back to the main page this one sponsored matter okay this one If you want to sponsor anyone then you can sponsor people within your post okay if you want to sponsor you will see sponsored section here like this one like this one within the post okay bookmark icon is di disabled but you can enable it so people will able to bookmark your specific post on your blog post here they will see bookmark section here somewhere here they will able to bookmark like this is save bookmark is different that will be different okay let me scroll down okay read more button yeah that's why because read more button is disabled here that's why we will not see okay in classic nothing more grade one grade one is actually this one this is the grade one i think this is the grade two okay let me select if you want to i think it's better to choose default okay because the size of the image they have already optimized according the theme I will recommend choose default here okay in the grade one I think this is the grade one okay I want I don't want to show avatar in the my in my when they will open my front page of website like let me go back 
and this is the front page okay let me let it open so this is the front page of my website just to explain you grid one this is the grid one in the grid one we have a description uh, title and we have this avatar the poster written by admin and the date so this is you can disable it here just to remove avatar and publish and this will be the image will be gone from here in the front page okay just wait for it and you will not see avatar because we have cancelled avatar from here okay you will see right away the changes just wait for the changes okay let me refresh okay let me scroll down let me find out the grid sections first wait for me standard block design grid one Uh, grid 1 they are overwritten by blog design for elementary pages and blog design elementary pages actually for the pages this is for the pages not for the front page not for the pages like uh, we have a privacy policy page and uh, in the privacy policy page any other page definitely we don't want to show other name or date publish because we only want to display this this stuff for the post right we we written the post who write that post when the uh, when the post publish these sections is only for the post not for the pages okay okay let me go back so everything in standard block design is they have already select according that so i will recommend keep as it is header design let's go to header design okay in the header design we have two header right you have a place your ad and we have a second one menu section let me try to select Select the default heading layout for the archive and elementor block on your site. If we have elementor blocks, let me scroll down. Okay, let me explain you this one again. Let me find out any page here. This is a pages. Let me go to 404 page. When I click 404 page, here this is. When we added this with element, they will see uh, two different sections. Let me show you. Two slashes. But I will recommend do not make any changes here. This is for the heading layout slash. okay let me go back for the global colors you can choose uh, you can change your website color here you can uh, change overall colors like we have a category in red color we have a blue color some categories in blue color you can change all the color global highlight color dark mode color we have a different color you can make changes here in the global color single post section single post as I already explained you single post let me go back to website click on main page let me open any post 
to explain here that's this setting for the single post let me click any single post okay this is the actually single post okay this is a single post now let's start editing it layout in the layout number first layout we have a right sidebar number two layout we not have we have a sidebar but we have a downside number three layout you can check layout let me choose three number three layout and publish i'm going to refresh my page to show you okay let me choose layout number three and uh, it's going to publish and i will show you layout number one this is the layout number one now if i will refresh this this will change to layout number three okay we have refreshed it and you will see changes see you have we have changes now we have a big main image you can choose the layout which type of layout you want simple select that one and publish template sort code no changes here okay And you can change layout for the video if you have a video content video post you can change layout the process is very same for the video or feature video if you want uh, for example if my post has any video here somewhere here when they will open our page uh, my our post the video will start playing automatically okay then you can enable it from here out of play enable it's, it's already enabled but you can disable it okay floating video on a screen when i will scroll down my post the video also will uh, uh, go along with my mouse even i scroll up or down my video will be stick here somewhere here it will go with my mouse wheel okay autoplay audio for the audio on the single page okay you can look all these settings for the single page layout okay post type layout that's for the post type do not make changes here featured image featured image on our single post this one this is a single post in our uh, single post uh, blog okay you can choose that size okay you can choose smaller size here this one this is a bigger size for our featured image in the post you can choose small size okay just to choose the size and click up publish let's go back content area content area i highly recommend do not make changes because let me open this this one content area they have already optimized according that okay you might also every section they have they have display here according to the theme i will not recommend to change anything in this section content area okay let's me go back sidebar area actually the sections already they have selected is very well very right way very optimized okay sponsored post like sponsored by you want to uh, you want to uh, sponsored any website on your on your front page you want to sponsor somewhere here and they will see the text sponsored by like uh, this is the uh, this is the you want to uh, upload any image in the ad here and they will see right here sponsored by the name of the person here sponsored meta text let's call it. review and ratings for the for our post when we scroll down they will see review and rating here leave a comment this is this is the review and rating section they can go leave comment they can review your post how your post look likes
okay let's go to next user rating in comments it's dif disable keep it disable okay let's go to comments comment section is already enabled if you want to disable all the comments in comment box you can disable your comments here related and popular related and popular section is when you scroll down your post this one related they will see related here this one is called related post okay same tag and category related section select an item yeah select standard layout after choose a standard layout how many posts you want to this uh, you want to show in the related post for okay now what i do i'm going to heading layout i'm going to just simply just a blog layout choose this one small grid it's it's look it looks good okay now they have uh, provide you this related short code copy this short code okay this setting apply to post for example if you display this uh, uh, short code somewhere in your post you display this one this is the related post you might also like okay and you have uh, upload this short code provide this short code end of the blog you can manually provide that code short code that call short code because they have already setting up everything accordingly okay let me go back auto load next post you see when i open this post let me refresh this post it's not only single post to open here when i scroll down my mouse you can see next post already start showing up you can disable it simply from here auto load next post disable it we don't want to auto load this will also impact impact on website speed as well just to disable it show continue reading yes we want that same category yes everything setting every setting that's why i recommend more recommend do not make changes because we have already selected and everything look everything according that share on socials share uh, okay let me open this post again this one you will see the left side what this is the share sidebar you want to disable it you can do it but it looks good here stick in the sidebar share sidebar okay you can uh, disable facebook you can enable flip pinterest whatsapp anything you want to show you can show there in this section okay like facebook just to disable facebook you can enable youtube instead of facebook you can select just keep on and off that's all okay this section is in share on socials sticky headline sticky headline is post title this one sticky headline if you want to stick this headline let me refresh first because we have make some changes okay if i scroll down the title will be stick uh, along with the wheel if i scroll down my uh, post my title will be still stick, but i will not recommend this they will open our post we have this title they will read the title and go ahead okay 
we don't want to always show the title of the post okay okay reading indicator reading indicator actually this this thing three minute to read this is the indicator that how how much time it will take to read this post estimate reading this is called this is the icon we yeah keep it uh, keep it enabled that's okay okay highlight shares highlight share this one actually Here, highlight share. Okay, you can disable it or enable. Okay, everything is good in single post. Single page. In the single page, actually, guys, uh, uh, if we have a news website or blog website, the pages are already designed very well. Way we don't need to make any change. But if you still want, you can play with it. Just uh, left heading you can choose overlay heading feature image okay required for that for example privacy policy the page we have let me try to open that page here to explain you click on all pages now i'm going to open this about us page okay let me open another one let me open contact us uh, default faq let me try to open faq yeah we have something here okay in the faq this is a page and the section is saying here sorry for that I think I lost my let me click customize again let me copy this one so I will able to open this into new tab here. Here I am going to open this FAQ. Okay. Uh, we have single page. Yes, single page section. We already complete other work. Single page open this one. And we have also open single page here. This is the page. FAQ is a page. Let me click single page actually single page or any type we don't want it to fancy single page uh, always looks already good and uh, we want to display the information there not a design to understand so they will understand everything about policies so for example in the faq button if we make it fancy or display uh, make it more nice but you can do it but simple is looks more good okay let me open single page okay left setting uh, sorry left heading our heading FAQ is in left side you can make it right side let me try to choose or center overlay heading but you need a feature image for that okay you can choose no header okay just you can choose anything here okay in the sidebar actually next thing we have sidebar position no sidebar yes we don't want sidebar in the pages okay but if you still want sidebar in the page this is the page and you want to display sidebar here uh, you want to display latest post or news here you can still do it you just choose left or right sidebar okay other setting is good okay we have a category similar to category section
the style for the categories. If I open any type of categories, let me go to post and click on category. If I open this category business, let me open this one. Okay, I open this category. The title is left side. Yeah, here header style header style is this one. This is the header area header style This one this is the header style you want it left side or right side you can choose it Okay This is not very important, but if you still want any changes here you can do it We have a blog and archive blog index header style again this is everything about styles okay if you want to uh, display about author author information you can information provide information but if you want to disable it disable author bio means detail about the author who is the author that's for the that's for actually if your website has more author then you need this section okay this is for blog and archive four oh four page okay in the four oh four they have already provide image for you that looks good if I go to if I click any wrong page here you will see four oh four page okay this one the picture here in the 404 page you want to make changes in the picture go ahead upload that picture here okay heading you can provide heading if I write here sorry for that and this page not this is not correct page let me write only sorry here so I write sorry here and publish in the 404 page you will see the sorry word here okay let me refresh you will see sorry word here 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 it is you can write something like this in the 404 section description description you can provide detail about this heading okay let's go back typography is about uh, h1 tag h2 tag okay website body everything is about font font already good in our website okay but you can choose still the font h1 tag you can choose h1 tag size what size this is about the size size is already perfect there uh, because when we import our demo content for um, our size got got perfect uh, font size perfect visit everything comes with the demo content we don't want any changes if we do changes in the size font size my uh, it might be your visitor will not able to see very well your size may be bigger or smaller but right now some um, font size is good okay table of content which is really important if i open any post here let me open this post in the post you will see type of content this one content you will see content this is the table of content you want to disable it you can disable it in the layout choose two column or three column this is the two column one two this is the two column content you can choose three or four column just to choose in the layout this is setting is all about table of content okay table of content heading is content contents this one contents this one it's contents you can change here smooth scrolling keep it off show number list enable yeah everything is good just so you can change like uh, contents heading 
for example in table of content heading i want to put here jump on this okay they will jump on uh, they will jump immediately to that section okay for example here one uh, number one number two number three h3 or h4 it will display all h1 h2 h3 in the one uh, but if i i want to uh, click here number three and i will jump immediately to click three that's content now you will see jump on this uh, yeah this word here okay jump on this means it's to jump on the particular section okay let me go back like and reactions like and reaction people can react on your post input a value number of days after to clear up database tracking by ip optimize counter for caches single post reaction enable it for example they like our post they can react on our post they can leave emojis okay they like our post they can react according that and uh, this will be trackable like and reaction if who if for example if i like this post right now i click on save it or like this post let me scroll down i like this post It should be display here like like section i think it's in comment section in comment even for example i leave any comment here the system will track that particular person who like or react on the on the on the post right that's for that. personalized system let me check on reading list followed recommend let me skip it this is not very important okay we have a minus okay all minus we have in in part two of this foxes we will uh, keep continue edit minus and uh, we will also customize rest section the because i want to go step by step one by one section right i am not able to complete this video complete all customized section in one video because you understand the video might be very long and i need some rest time so i will make part two for the foxes team and we will continue from the menu section in the customized section and we have complete up to menu and in part two we will keep continue rest every section okay because foxes theme actually i will i want to explain every step by step so we so you will understand well okay so please stay with me uh, you can find out part i will once part two is ready i will provide link in description you can jump to part two of foxes theme so i really appreciate please like share and subscribe my videos thanks for watching this Fox's theme video.